So uh, about a week before I graduated from SEAL training, so I was a brand new guy, four, 14 years ago, uh, we have what's called a final training exercise, an FTX, where they basically give you a mission, you gotta plan it, you gotta brief it, you gotta rehearse it, and then you gotta execute it and actually do a mission. It's the first time you feel like you might be a SEAL. And everything's based on time. So the, the instructors gave us the mission and we do all our planning, and about you know, midway through, we're just gonna be late. It's obvious we are not gonna make our hit time, and you, you don't need to fail at BUDS for it to be hard, SEAL training. I mean, if you screw up, at SEAL training is plenty hard without screwing up. If you screw up, it's exceptionally hard. And the class officer, the class leader, okay, the senior man in our class, is just running around the compound like a chicken with his head cut off, screaming at people, we gotta get the guns, you know, we gotta get out there right now, I mean, please, we're, we're not gonna make it, let's go. And, and just the fevered pitch of the entire group because of this was, intolerable, we couldn't perform. And I remember this master chief comes walking out, so I don't know how many people know rank in the United States military, but a master chief in the Navy is the senior enlisted rank. I think it's the coolest, coolest rank there is, a, a master chief petty officer. All the, all the services senior enlisted is the coolest rank, but he comes out and this master chief in particular is just like a god to us. I mean, he's covered in tattoos, he's got tattooed a King Triton and a mermaid and a huge anchor on his cheek with this Magnum PI mustache, comes walking out and he says, hey, all the officers get over here right now. And you are trying to pretend like I need to change the coupling on this, let me see if I know. And he's like, nope, everybody over here right now. So we, we come running up, you know, we take a school circle and we're looking up this master chief. He says, let me tell you something, gents. I'm gonna give you a piece of advice and a leadership cue, because that's your job, that I was taught by a master chief from Vietnam, and it's never failed, and I'm gonna give it to you. This is the best thing you're ever gonna learn in SEAL training. I mean, we're sitting down there like, oh, this is the good stuff. Here we go, what do you got? And he says, as leaders, people at a minimum are gonna mimic your behavior. At a minimum, they're gonna mimic it. They'll probably, in the SEAL teams, because of how aggressive they are, amplify your behavior. So if you're doing it right, they're gonna do it right or better. If you're doing it wrong, they're gonna tank. It's a guarantee. So I'm gonna tell you what this master chief told me from Vietnam, and I want you guys to use it. And we're just wait, waited on bated breath. And this is all he said. Calm is contagious. Calm is contagious. And I, I remember also down there thinking, there's gotta be more than that. So there's gotta be something else. But there wasn't, and I've now never seen it proven false. Because as it turns out, you can supplant any word for calm and it, and it proves true. Panic is contagious, chaos is contagious, stupid, 100% contagious. <laughs> so we like calm because calm in our line of work means you keep your head. And if you keep your head, and, and that master chief said, they said, gents, if you keep your head, the others around you are gonna keep their head. And in our line of work, that means you keep your head. So calm is contagious. This is a little gift, particularly for a leader. If you're gonna keep that, uh, you might be churning underwater, but up on the top, you gotta have that, you gotta have that calm.